7.3 which average to use so basically what that means is do we use the mean the modes or the median okay I'm gonna make this as simple as possible for you guys we now all know how to find the mean the mode and the median all this is asking us is they're gonna ask us a question and they're gonna say find the mean or find the mode or find the median or find all three or find one out of them or two out of them and then they're gonna say which is the best measure of average okay that's all they're gonna ask you now this is traditionally what we use as average what was the average uh, test and the scores in your class Devon for Christmas and Devon will go along well 30 plus 40 plus 70 plus 36 plus and the final number of people in the class okay that's great when there is no outliers remember what we did in the last one outliers extreme values um, so if a class got 10%, 16%, 14 and everybody's between 10 and 20 and someone got 99, they're an outlier. But if there's no obvious outliers, we use the mean. No outliers, use the mean. Okay, mode is for categorical data. Now, what do I mean by categorical? Anything that is not numbers. Okay, we need a measure of average for that. What is the average car in the color of car in the car park? Gray. If there's 10 grays, 3 blacks, 4 reds, well then gray is the average. Really simple. That's the best one to say. Now the question can say find a mode, and it's not going to be the best one, but when the question says what is the best measure of average you would use here, then you would say that. Because it's categorical data, I will use the mode. Because there's no outliers, I will use the median. If there is an outlier, we will uh, use the median. So I'm going to run through a few ones here now. Let's say, first one, test scores. Um, 36, 40, 72, 49, 56, 62. Find the best measure of average for those. Okay, is it categorical? No, so mode's gone. It's either mean or median. Is there an outlier? No. So I'm using mean. Add them all up, do that. This one. If I had 99, 10, 14, 22, 36, 25, 27. I use the median because there is an outlier to 99. If I had 99 and 98 there, there's two outliers. Yeah, it, it sticks out. Because the logic behind that is if you got two people in the class, they'll bring the average up. So how many is in the class? There's one in the class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. And so if I even increase it, 98. If I found a mean, everybody in the class bar these two is below the average. Yeah, despite them being the majority. So that's when I would order it 10, 14, 22, 25, 36, there's 27 in there as well, 98, 99. Cross it to first, cross it to last, second, second last, third, third last. I'm left with the two numbers in the middle. 25 plus 27 over 2. That equals to 26. 26 is, sorry, is my median. That's it. D that's all they can ask it. Like it's in, uh, yeah, and that's why you got to be very smart when you're listening to people talk about statistics. You know, the, the famous one is the, the average salary someone that um, studies law in the University of North Carolina was, for at a certain time, in the 10 years after they finished, was um, 100,000, let's say. And then for geography was 
um, 180,000. So people go, well, I'm doing geography. No, it's because Michael Jordan was there and he became a basketballer and his wage went up through the roof. Yep, they should have done median because he is a outlier. Exactly. Okay, this is your work for the weekend. So Friday and Saturday, it's an hour's work. Yet you're going to get question one to ten done. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Good work. Enjoy your weekend.